Hi, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm showing you how to make some easy to do DIY rugs for your tabletop terrain. Want to see how it's done? Stay tuned and let's check it out. The first thing you're going to want to do is a search for images of Turkish or Oriental rugs. And when you find pictures of ones that you like, you simply copy the image and then paste it into your photo editing program of choice. You can even do it in Word. Make sure you size them down to what you want. And when you have everything laid out in terms of size and look, you can go back in, print everything out, and then using a pair of scissors, you can cut away your rugs from the excess paper, or you can even take a cutting mat, a metal ruler, and a utility knife to start trimming away the white areas to free the rugs and have these out and ready for you. Do be careful when you're doing this that you make sure you trim away as much of the white as possible. You may find using the cutting mat method, you're gonna need to go back in with a pair of scissors just to trim in a couple areas where maybe the knife was just a little bit too high or the like. Once you have everything cut and in sizes that you want and ready to go, we're gonna move on to the next step. Now, while you could use standard craft foam, I decided to use the kind that has the sticky adhesive on the back. And for this, what I did is flip the rug pieces over so it was face side down. Then with a ballpoint pen, I traced on the adhesive side with the paper covering still on it, the outline of each rug. When you do this, it perforates the paper and you'll be able to fold this over and basically create an area where you're gonna be able to peel this paper away and expose the adhesive to the back of the foam. Once you have that area revealed, what you can then do is take your rug, obviously face side up with the print side up, and you can place this onto the adhesive section of the craft foam. To do this, I recommend that you start at the top and then smooth down to the bottom rather than trying to work from the center out. This is just a quick and easy way to get these pieces of rug onto the craft foam because the craft foam will act as a nice base and give it some weight too so it doesn't float around the table as a piece of paper would. It also helps to stack these rug forms one at a time as opposed to peeling off the full piece of paper of, to reveal the adhesive because I find that when you do that, the chances are of these rugs going into a place you don't want them increases. So basically just reveal the areas you need as you go along and it'll make the process so much easier for you. Once you have all your pieces in place, you are again going to need to trim your rugs out, but this time from the foam. In this case, I did find that the cutting mat, metal ruler, and utility knife were the fastest and easiest way. Little tip here, make sure that your ruler is lined up against the edges of your rug when you go to trim away the excess foam. You don't really need to worry so much about lining things up on the mat. The mat is really just there to make sure you don't cut through down into your table. And when you get all the excess foam trimmed away, what you're gonna have is this great miniature rug ready and waiting for you. Now we just need to take care of the very last step before these are ready for use. You absolutely will want to make sure these get sealed and to do so use Mod Podge Matte and basically just put a nice layer of this Mod Podge, straight up Mod Podge, not thinned out, nothing like that, on top of the paper area of your rugs. This will make sure that the rugs stay protected, the print won't smear off, and that it won't get chipped or nicked as if you were to just leave it as straight up paper without sealing it up with the Mod Podge factor going on. Once the Mod Podge is dried, I do recommend that you turn the rugs face down and put a heavy weight on top of them because sometimes there might be a little bit of curling involved with the Mod Podge drying up. That'll quickly fix itself. You can even just quickly rub your thumb and finger on top to smooth things over and you'll have these great rugs that sit nicely on top of your terrain, add a nice touch of impact to your layouts, and are very easy to make. I hope this is a video that's come in handy for you. If this is a technique you've enjoyed, please be sure to hit that like button. And while you are here, you are welcome to subscribe. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below or you can email me at thecraftingmuse.email at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining me today Day, and I look forward to bringing you another craft soon. For those of you going to PAX East, I will be there as well. 
In fact, I'm going to be on a panel Friday morning at 10 a.m. in the Bumblebee Theater where we're going to be speaking about PCs and identity. It's actually a really great topic. I can't wait to do this. And I'm going to be joined with Kelly the Opera Geek, Eris Savad, as well as Eugenio Vargas, and our special moderator, Dr. B. So come and join us there. Can't wait to see you and have a great time if you are going. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye. I think so. Okay, yeah. That's better. Ta -da. <laughs> Showing you some very easy DIY rugs for your scatter. That's a word that's not coming out. <laughs> well, McDonald had a farm. E I E I. Whoa.